Hey everybody, welcome back to Bill Sky the Assembly Guy. What we're going to do today is that we're going to, on Windows, we're going to download and install Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 so we can develop, write, and debug and test our assembly language programs. This is not Visual Studio Code, everybody. This is Visual Studio 2022, but we'll show you how to do that next. Let's get started. Now, I'm going to open up my browser here. And one thing to remember is Visual Studio is diff completely different than Visual Studio Code. A lot of you really like Visual Studio Code. It's not really great for assembler language. In, uh, in, in fact, it, the debugger is nearly non-existent. But, um, I mean, you can make it work, but it's just a lot of effort. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up. Now, this is a brand new Windows 11 install. There's really nothing uh, in here except the basic... Uh, Windows and I'm running it in a VMware guest operating system uh, which will actually be going over in this course so let's go ahead and go to the website that's HTTPS and we're gonna go to Visual Studio Microsoft.com and downloads and what we want is we want the community version now if you want to go ahead and purchase the professional version uh, you can do that but the community version is really all we need. So I'm going to click on free download. And it's going to go ahead and download an installer. Now from there, I'm going to open uh, in the folder because I'd like to see the downloaded file. There it is right there. Visual Studio Setup. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to say, yep, let's go ahead and do it. I, I like to close my windows. So let's go ahead and close all these windows. Uh, just go ahead and click continue. It's going to download a few things uh, for you. So let it do that. It's going to install the new installer. And when we're done, we're going to go ahead and uh, launch the installer. I believe it, uh, it does all that automatically for you. So the installer automatically uh, begins once it's installed. And what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to just pick those things that we need for assembler language. Now there's a lot here. Uh, you can install everything. It's, it's just it's a really large install uh, in, installation uh, if you install everything. So let's just install the things that we need. And I'm going to come down here and look for develop desktop development with C++. I'm going to turn that on. And that is really all you need. Now I also like to select Linux and embedded development in C++. You don't have to do that. The, uh, for this course. The other thing that you can do is click the .NET desktop development. This installs the C Sharp and the Visual Basic, which is a really nice uh, drag and drop environment. But you don't need those. So we're just going to go ahead and turn those off. But again, I really do like them. But let's go ahead and turn them off. And if you notice over here on the right, you can see that the installation is going to take nine gigabytes. So it's going to download all that stuff. And all we did again was click on desktop development with C++. And I'm going to click install. And this is going to take a little while. So let's go ahead and let it work. We'll fast forward through all of this. And we'll see you on the flip side. And it's still installing. One thing I did want to show you here is that if you have this little checkbox marked right here, start after installation, the Visual Studio will start automatically. So we can uncheck that or we can check it depending upon what we wanted to do. I always like to uncheck these things and then figure out how to start it myself just in case it doesn't put something on the desktop. And we'll go ahead and let it continue to install. And once she's done installing, go ahead and click the OK button and let's go ahead and close the installer. Now where can we find it? I'm going to click on my start button and I'm just going to type visual. And you'll see there's a Visual Studio installer. There's also a Visual Studio 2022. Uh, there's a lot of other things uh, that you can look at that it installed. I'm going to go over to All Apps. And then I'm going to scroll down to the Vs. And it actually installed a, fo installed a folder. I'm going to click on that. And if you wanted to do your development using command line, you could pick one of these depending upon if you're 64-bit or 32-bit, which is x86. Uh, or you can go ahead and just select the Visual Studio 2022. Now, in future videos, we're going to show you how to actually set up your first assembler language project in Visual Studio. 
I'm going to go ahead and start Visual Studio 2022 right now and just make sure it's all set up. Maybe even create a little Hello World application. Now, using the installation options that we selected, you also have a C and C++ uh, capabilities on Visual Studio. Now, the first thing it asks you to do is to sign in. Um, if you don't have a Microsoft developer account, it wouldn't be a bad idea to create one because this will nag you every once in a while, but it won't stop functioning. But for now, I'm just going to click on uh, skip this step for now. It asks you what uh, theme you'd like. I'm going to just click on the dark or leave the dark as the default because that seems to be the most popular these days and go ahead and let it set up. And it says it's going to take a few minutes and don't doubt it that it's going to take a few minutes. And once the uh, setup is complete, it goes ahead and gives you this opening window. Now, if I just want to go to the uh, integrated development environment, I can just click on the continue without code. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new project. And we're just going to create a simple C++ project. Um, I'm going to select uh, console app. Now, you can select any language you'd like. I'm going to select C++. I'm going to say Windows. And uh, it says all project types. I could select just console there. And it, it, it reduces the number of options that you have. Um, I'm going to click on console app next. I'm going to give it a simple file or project name. Now, I like to create project names without spaces in them because they're compatible across all operating systems. It might be my age or whatever, but um, most operating systems deal very, very well with no spaces and file names and project names. And then I'm going to click the Create button. Now, a little bit of an overview of the Visual Studio integrated development environment is coming up. And I'm going to show you how to build your application, how to clean it. And the same goes for both Win, uh, C++ and Assembler projects. So over here on the right, you've got the solution. And within a solution, you can have multiple projects. So the solution is called Test T CPP. Uh, we actually have the project in this case, which is called Test CPP. There's a number of folders that it creates for you. I'm going to expand the source files. And there's our CPP uh, file, which we're going to build. And you can see the source code over here on the left. So to build this application, I'm just going to go up to Build. And I'm going to say Build Solution. And down here in the console area, the output area, it shows you that it's building it. And it succeeded. No errors. Everything's great. I'm going to go ahead now. And under Debug, I'm going to say Start Without Debugging. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up a window, a console window. And in this case, it just prints Hello World or C outs Hello World. And then you just press Enter. You might have to press Enter twice. Now, if I wanted to debug this application, I'm going to go ahead and create a breakpoint. And to create a breakpoint, move your mouse over here to the far left on the first line. And then say debug, start debugging. And now we there. here we are on the debugger. I can click step over. And it goes one line at a time. Where's the window? Well, because Visual Studio is maximized, it kind of hid the window on us. Ah, so here's our output window. And I'm going to click step over. Now, let's say you're having a problem with your build. You don't know why it's failing. One of the first things I like to do is click on Build Clean Solution. And this normally really only works if you have multiple modules and something happened with the make file. Uh, we're going to say build, uh, build solution now. And it builds it from scratch. What clean solution does is deletes all the object files and executable files. The next thing I wanted to show you is where is your code actually located? Well, I'm going to go ahead and open up my home folder in Windows. And what Visual Studio did was it created a source folder. I'm going to double click on the source folder, uh, repos, repository, I assume that means, and there's our project. So if I double click on our project, um, and then I go into the project name again, we should see the CPP file. And there's the CPP file. Uh, X64 means 64 bit. So this was built as a 64 bit application. If I go into that, and then I go into debug, uh, we actually should be able to see the uh, executable file file. And here's our object file. 
All right, so that's how to download, install, and create your first project in Visual Studio 2022 on Microsoft Windows. This was Microsoft Windows 11. It'll work exactly the same on Microsoft Windows 10. You'll do everything the same. Hope to see you at the next video. Thank you.